Today's video is about the jaw operation procedure and the functions. First of all, we introduce corresponding functions of each body on the RC controller. The blank knob here is to adjust the gimbal. RTL down is for auto return. Stabilize is for man mode and ALT hold in the middle. It will set the jaw and fix the height. Well, Loister down is the key for set the jaw and fix the point. An accelerator key normally is put on the left side by vertically operated. The left and the right direction is to adjust the jaw height direction where the key on the right to control four directions like front, back, left and the right. Now we are about to demonstrate the flight precise. First of all, uh, we uh, place the jaw on a stable position and the power on the RC. And then connect the battery. Do not touch the jaw as it is automatically detects the GPS. Wait till the jaw finishes this precise. Meanwhile, the gimbal is doing a self-test. It is about 10 seconds to finish. You will hear the beep beep sound when completed. Now let's take a look at the jaw. The right lights of the bars, full bars lights on when the battery is full. The blue lights is GPS signal indicator. It will flash when searching the center lights. A stable Blue light represents the GPS meeting the basic takeoff condition. However, it is recommended to wait as true two minutes so it will search for more center lights in order to ensure more precise positioning. Close the battery cover. Now everyone stay back about three meters away from the drone. Now, now we demonstrated the different flight modes. First mode, manual mode. First of all, let us set the RC buttons. Power stage on, RTL off. Stabilize mode, left stick and the right stick in neutral position. Unlock first by pushing the left stick to the right bottom corner for three seconds and the propeller start to return. Draw unlocked. For the holding at the bottom right direction without any per operation, the propeller will stop rotate and the drone locked. Now we start to learn how to take off. First of all, unlock the drone and push the throttle stick to lower the middle position and the throttle up slowly to 15% of its total length. Drone will take off, throttle upwards further, drone will arise further. If throttle no further upwards, the drone will land slowly. Please note that during ascending precise, please constantly adjust the direction of the drone height. Normally, the right stick is to control the direction with the reference of the drone height. Namely, when the drone height is toward in front of us, all direction will be consistent with us. However, if the drone height is facing us, you light the fly downward. It will fly ahead of us. As regard to landing, please keep in mind that no pull the throttle stick quickly and directly at the bottom, cause this may cause the drone automatically stall and then crash. In manual mode, whatever is ascending or descending, the speed is much quicker than GPS mode. So operator have to push the throttle stick with only a slight strength. Now, we demonstrate the landing. Slight, slightly push the auto stick downward and the window is descending at about 3 meters high. Please make a best control of the throttle in case of a crash by slightly downward. When it's landing at about 10 centimeters, pull the stick downward and the bottom and hold 3 seconds toward bottom left to make the drone locked while propeller stop rotating. Then you can re release your hand. 
Second, GPS mode. First of all, you need to check the RC buttons if they are correctly positioned, like RC power on, RTL off, loiter mode, left and the right stick in neutral position. Then, pull the throttle stick downward to the bottom right for three seconds. Then, put the stick in a neutral position. Push the stick upwards over 50% of its total length. Draw take off slowly and as the speed is slow and stable compared with the manual mode. If no other operation, return the stick to neutral position and the jaw will floating at a fixed height with a deviation about 0.8 meters from up to down and 2 to 5 meters from left to right. Deviation will guidelines when no wind condition. Compared with manual mode, GPS mode is more easily to control and it is better for beginners and low speed of flight. About half of that in manual mode. Therefore, it is the best choice for area video. For landing in GPS mode, operator only need to put down the throttle stick and uh, when the jaw flies at about 10 cm high, push the throttle down at the bottom and the then bottom left, holding about 3 seconds, then the jaw will stop and the propeller stop rotating. Jaw is locked and release your hand now. It is recommended that new users operate in GPS mode for safety. To introduce the ALT hold mode. This mode is nothing to do with the GPS. This mode is achieved by the air pressure sensor on the flight system and the model is widely used indoor. The operator needs to be noticed that when the drone taking off, switch to ALT hold, they need to maintain height about 50 centimeters. The effect is more obvious in higher height. Finally, we introduce three auto return situations. One is in RDL mode. Second, auto return when out of control. And third, third auto return beyond boundary. Drop can return home via RDL mode when GPS signal available. In addition, the drone will return while out of control or flying beyond its specified distance, about 1000 meters. Auto return system will be triggered where the drone losing contact or low power. And the, the, the whole process can be divided into two process. First, it will return to a height about 10 to 20 meters with a comparatively quick speed and a floating. Then, start a further landing with a slower speed. If the landing place is not appropriate, the operators can adjust the direction with the remote controller to make sure landing in suitable place. Just be noticed that all this precise. Just be noticed that under this precise, only the direction can be controlled. Now the speed. Unless the user switches from RTL to other mode. However, it is not recommended as there may be security risk. Now we demonstrate the out of control return. The correct way is to restart after the drone stop. The landing place will be radius about uh, 
two and five meters and take off, please. And there may be some deviation depending on the GPS signal strength.